With the latest from News for Jax, I'm Joy Purdy. The mother of missing five-year-old Taylor Rose Williams was flown this afternoon by chopper from NAS Jax to UF Health Hospital for a medical emergency, sources tell us. News for Jax began to learn of Brianna Williams' hospitalization soon after investigators announced that search teams uncovered human remains in a wooded area in western Alabama today during the search for little Taylor. The Jacksonville Sheriff's Office is waiting for positive identification of the remains found on County Road 55 off Highway 28 in Marengo County through forensic tests. A car stopped on the train tracks on Kings Estates Road in St. John's County just before 9 this morning as the crossing arms were being lowered and was hit by a train. Fortunately, that driver escaped with only minor injuries, but she is being charged with failure to obey a signal. And in Volusia County, Sheriff's Office deputies are investigating after a man admitted to shooting and killing his own son. They say Joseph Johnson shot his 32-year-old son, Corey, after they got into a physical fight Monday afternoon, which Corey may have started, they say, not long after Corey had been released from jail on drug charges. No arrests have been made as the investigation continues. You can always find the latest news on newsforjax.com. Have a great afternoon.